Welcome to the Get Fit Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Slim Down and Shape Up. My name is Ben Greenfield, and I'm the Get Fit Guy. So let's say you walk into the gym or you decide you're going to head out for a run. What do you do first? Some arm swings and leg swings? Maybe touch your toes for a while? Run in place for 60 seconds? Do a bout of yoga? Well, sometimes it can be confusing to figure out how to get your body ready for exercise. So in this episode, you'll learn how to warm up before exercise, the best way to warm up, and whether cardio, stretching, or something else is best. In the episode How to Warm Up and Cool Down, which I'll link to from the show notes over at getfitguy.quickanddirtytips.com, you learned that when you warm up, several things happen to help prepare you for exercise, including dilation of your blood vessels. That means as your blood vessels dilate or they get bigger, your heart doesn't have to work so hard to deliver blood and you have less risk of high blood pressure during exercise. Increased temperature... When you stretch a cold rubber band, it can potentially snap. The same is true of muscle. By warming your muscle tissue, you can increase muscle elasticity and range of motion, and you allow your muscle to contract more efficiently while reducing risk of strains and pulls. In addition, oxygen in warm blood becomes more readily available to muscle tissue. Better cooling. In the same way that the air conditioning in your car works more efficiently when your car is warmed up, when you break a sweat during your pre-workout warm-up, you've successfully activated your body's built-in cooling mechanisms. Hormone production. As you warm up, your body begins producing hormones like epinephrine, endorphins, growth hormone, and testosterone, all of which either make you feel better during exercise or increase the energy available for your workout. And finally, mental focus. Clearing your head with a warm-up allows you to focus more on the difficult or technical exercise or movements that may occur in your physical activity. And it also gives you a chance to mentally review a workout, game, or match. Now, before you learn the perfect way to warm up, it's important to learn what not to do when you warm up. In the episode, Does Yoga Burn Calories? You learn that while yoga may certainly not burn significant calories, the type of stretching you do in yoga, which is also known as static stretching, can lower your stress levels and your blood pressure, help you relax, and improve your flexibility. Now, this is why I personally start every day with a morning stretch routine. Not because it's going to help with exercise, but because it's just a relaxing way to start my day. In fact, multiple research studies have shown that static stretching holding a stretching position for 5, 10, or 20 seconds can actually inhibit the amount of force that a muscle can produce and limit your physical performance in any jumping, running, or lifting activity you may be doing after that static stretching session. And further data has shown that static stretching doesn't even reduce your risk of injury, which is one of the primary reasons that you may have been led to believe that you should do stretching before exercise. So if you're getting ready for a run, warming up for weight training, or doing anything other than a relaxing yoga or stretching session, static stretching is not a good way to warm up. However, for activities that require significant improvements in flexibility, such as swimming, gymnastics, or ballet, static stretching can be an effective way to cool down or use as a separate workout. So how do you warm up properly? Well, in contrast to static stretching, something called dynamic stretching also known as ballistic stretching, is a stark contrast in terms of its ability to adequately prepare you for an exercise session. Studies have shown that dynamic stretching can improve power, strength, and performance during a subsequent exercise session. Of course, it's important to know exactly how to dynamically stretch, so I'm going to give you five perfect dynamic stretch moves to get you started. I'll put a video link to each of these moves over at getfitguy.quickanddirtytips.com and to warm up, simply do one round of each of the following. Start with leg swings. Hold onto a wall, bar, or anything else that adds support, then swing one leg out to the side, then swing it back across your body in front of your other leg. Repeat these side-to-side leg swings for each leg 10 times. Next, move on to the Frankenstein walk. Keeping your back and your knees straight, Walk forward, but lift your legs straight out in front while you're flexing your toes. You'll feel this in your hamstrings, the back of your leg, and you may also feel it in the front of your legs as your foot returns back down to the ground between each step. For a more advanced version of the Frankenstein walk, you can do Frankenstein walking with more of a skipping motion. Anyways, do about 10 to 20 yards of Frankenstein walks. Next, move on to walking lunges. Step forward using a long stride, 
trying to keep your front knee over or just behind your toes. Then lower your body into a lunge position by dropping your back knee towards the ground. Then you push forward, take a giant step, and repeat for the opposite leg, moving across the room as you lunge. To make this motion even more effective, hold your arms above your head, or twist and look back behind you towards that leg that's behind you once you're in the lunging position. Next would be bent torso twists. For this dynamic stretch, stand with your feet wide apart, then extend your arms out to the side and bend over, touching your right foot with your left hand. When you're bent, keep your back straight and your shoulder blades pulled back. Then, rotate your torso so your right hand touches your left foot. Keep both your arms fully extended as you do this so that when one hand touches your foot, the other hand is basically pointing to the sky. Keep rotating back and forth in this bent position for bent torso twists for about 20 to 30 twists. And then finally, do deep body weight squats in which you stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms held out in front of your body. Drop as low as you can, pushing your butt way out behind you. Keep your knees as far behind your toes as possible and swing your arms back. Then stand and bring your arms back up to the starting position. Do about 10 to 15 deep squat repetitions. Again, I'll put a link to each of these along with a list of the instructions in the show notes over at getfitguy.quickanddirtytips.com if you need to see a video description. Now, just like a rubber band, a muscle can be more pliable when it's at a higher temperature. So if you want to train your body to move through a greater range of motion during your dynamic stretching, Simply do 5 to 10 minutes of light cardio before beginning this dynamic stretching warm-up routine. Now, I'll be talking to you just a little bit more about whether or not you actually need to improve your flexibility in next week's episode. But between now and then, if you have more questions about static stretching, dynamic stretching, or how to warm up before a workout, then share them over at facebook.com slash getfitguy. And until next time, this is the Get Fit Guy asking you, what are you waiting for? Go get fit. 